heavy weapons have been rolled out in the Buna region to try to flush out up to 500 Taliban militants. They've been creeping into valleys worryingly close to the capital, although the military action appears to be working as Pakistani troops took the main town Dagger, killing 50 militants. Troops were helicoptered in behind Taliban lines, although they faced stiff resistance. At least three roadside bombs went off and one soldier died. Rather than fleeing, militants seized three police stations, kidnapping 70 people. The situation in Buna is very bad. Mortar shells are falling. Tens of thousands have already fled the district, and the government is all too aware of the potential for casualties. Our constraints are that we are operating in our area and against the miscreants who use innocent civilians as human sheep. Hello, four, three, four, two, one, over. More fighting is inevitable as Pakistan tries to show the world it is willing to tackle the Taliban. Although America has been critical of the army's approach, using heavy artillery against fighters used to working as a guerrilla force. And President Zadari has a long way to go before he's convinced his American counterpart is in control. The civilian government there right now is very fragile and don't seem to have the capacity to deliver basic services. Uh, and so as a consequence, uh, it is very difficult for them to gain the support and the, uh, the loyalty of their people. As this latest round of fighting goes on, refugee camps and field hospitals fill with the displaced and injured. There are now real fears Pakistan is on the brink of sliding into a situation to rival its neighbor Afghanistan. Well, Wenner Grills, Sky News.